give a nice big startup weekend welcome to our resident Dr. Fred. Thank you. This is about healthy food choices. Uh, and uh, who is the avatar? It's a me. <laughs> uh, and basically, there's an epidemic of non communicable diseases going around. Microphone? Uh, mainly through poor uh, food choices. And uh, it's been found in the US at least there's an excess 50% of uh, sugar sweetened foods and discretionary foods are at the supermarkets uh, making an extra 600 calories a day in the population intake. So that's about a third or a quarter of the day recommended day. So let's shoot. Now when you go there, what do you see? You see price. And that influences people. It's the market. Okay? So what we're doing, what the supermarkets are doing, they're trying to make a living. The issue is that uh, there's difficult choices to be made uh, and I'll talk a bit more about that later. Uh, oops, sorry, we got back. Sorry about that. Uh, and uh, I, I love, I see uh, popsicles, you know. Uh, and so I still, although I've got the background information, I still don't bother to look. I do a look a little bit, but I don't look and see just how many calories I'm getting from each of these and what the total is over a week. I, maybe I refuse to do it. So. Uh, the solution is better food choices, more awareness. And I'll give you an example, and I've got some cards there if you want to look through yourself. Just some more examples. Uh, here is one of my favorites, uh, and uh, here you see on the left is the food information, on the right is the barcode, and underneath is a sort of a health scale, which varies. It may not even be present, or just one star. It's the number of stars uh, in terms of health. But if you don't have any education, you really won't know what that means. So if you look, if you look at each, uh, I'm dealing, we are dealing mainly with the barcode. The reason is because from the barcode, you have a record. And from a record, you can accumulate and find out how much you're having for the week or over a month. And if you go to like these or some other group uh, and you have a weight and BMI and so forth, they'll give you an estimate of how much you'll lose. Obviously, if you're cooking for the family, if you're shopping for the family, that will have to be taken into account. So that's the best way to get information about the food you choose. And if you use the barcode, you can see at a glance, if it's red where the sugar is, uh -oh, too much sugar. Let's, ch let's check something else. And on this app, you can have choices of other, uh, other uh, goods to use. Sorry. Uh, there's the energy rating, okay? Uh, and the sugars usually 10, over 10 percent is red. Okay. Uh, sometimes this is all. This is fine, but often it's difficult to look at. You know, and uh, you can't write it down, and it's not that very apparent. So uh, this is the idea about better food choices using barcodes. Now the validation. I've done some interviews at Queen Vic Square around the road. Uh, about 10 people and uh, which most of them are couples, usually Asian uh, and younger. Uh, and uh, I've, I've got an answer around about eight of them uh, that it would be useful for them to have some easy mechanism to make these nutrient food choices. And when we talked about how much, uh, we were thinking more about 10 to 20 dollars a month uh, if it worked. And one person asked, well, can I do it at 10 or 20 and once it works for me, I know what to do. I don't have to pay any more. I said, yes, that's fine. <laughs> so the other thing is at the actual supermarkets themselves, I've interviewed uh, three admin staff in three super, uh, separate super, supermarkets. And I've learned from that that one supermarket is going to have, uh, <clears throat> is going to use healthy food choices as one of their uh, Market, marketing, uh, marketing things uh, in June. So I'm keeping in touch with supermarkets, so I've made a little step. Now, I haven't made giant steps yet. I've been trying to work this out in the weekend, and it took half the weekend to find which apps to use. So <laughs> there it is. So uh, basically, there's the people I'm checking on. 
Uh, some of the apps that we're using is uh, Out of Milk, Scam and Goes Iris, and Lucid. Lucid was the one recommended by Woolworth. Uh, and, uh, <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, okay. They're competitors and partnerships. We won't move together. We're trying to get partnerships through the potential competitors like supermarkets, like Neasy, dietary groups, health and so forth. It's mainly long-term expectations that we're looking at. Uh, that that we'll, we'll be able to produce something maybe in six, 12 months. There would be an initial investment. Thank you. something now I know to put these stars at least as a, as a good start so thank you. Um, who's we? You're saying uh, we? Oh yeah I lost my team. <laughs> I'm not a very good manager I'm afraid. We had a two guitar but I, I kept going on. <laughs> I, I think the reason was there wasn't a, a clear monetary benefit. So that was one of the problems. And the other big problem is that we weren't, we weren't that settled on the uh, actual avatar. So we kept moving around a bit, depending on the mentors we saw. So I love... I was just asking, have you looked at other apps that are out there? There's some food wise apps and the like that potentially do something similar? I plan to, I have a colleague in Perth, but she was away for the weekend. She deals with apps and she's in the dietary department of a friend of mine. I've also, my, uh, my uh, grandson, his wife deals with apps too, but she wasn't available. So we're certainly looking for that. Okay. And how does this add to sustainability? Um, it's a good question, I can't answer it. I think it's sustainability of health. And if you've got sustainability of health, you, uh, you have better economy, better health, uh, and less waste, etc. All right, we'll give the, the judges just a second to write down some thoughts. And this is going to be our last team. And then as I mentioned before,